Good morning, guys. Average Youth Minister here. It's Monday. Got a lot of stuff to do today. So anyway, today it's Monday, which means that I have the typical Monday stuff that I have to do, which is start writing lessons and getting ready for Wednesday night. But also, I get to do some other fun stuff today, too. Uh, we do a thing when we have baptisms here. We record the story of the people getting baptized. And so there's a lady in our church that's going to get baptized. And so today she's coming in to do a video and record it, whatever. So I get to do that today, too. I'm kind of excited. Those are always fun to do. Uh, and that's this morning. And then I've got a lot of other fun stuff. So come join me as we go together on the journey that is the Average Youth Minister Day. Let's rock. Right, so I bought this new microphone specifically to help with these walk across the street things here. Also to help, I had a couple coming in that was going to be recorded and since there were two of them, my little lavalier mic wasn't going to work as well. So I bought this shotgun mic that's going to go on top of the camera. And I have a dead cat up there right now. You can't see it, but it looks pretty cool. One of those little fuzzy things. And I'm hoping it cuts down on the wind noise. <laughs> but the, uh, so I was recording this senior adult lady coming in who's going to be baptized. And she's telling her story and she's doing a great job and it's all wonderful. And I have to keep recording and I'm like, yes, it's great. We're going really good. And she's about to walk out the door and I look up. And I haven't turned the microphone on. Yes, that's right. I have not turned the microphone on. So I tell her, I'm sorry, Miss Pat, but you're going to have to do all that again. Luckily, I had turned on my old camera for some B-roll, uh, and it had some audio. And so I ended up actually using a lot of that, piecing the two together. Ice just fell and scared the bejesus out of me. I thought something was about to attack me. That's pretty funny. Now my heart rate's up. Anyway, but luckily I was able to use the other audio. Doesn't sound near as good as the new mic I bought, but it actually worked. All right, I'm heading to the youth room to do something. I don't really know what. I just want to do walk across the street. So there's this big fuzzy thing on top of the camera. Now it doesn't really have to be there when I'm inside, but it's there. And so here, uh, here, look, you can see it. There you go. We'll turn it that way. So now you can see it a little bit better. A big fuzzy thing on top, and it makes it, it just makes me laugh every time I look at it. But anyway, a uh, couple of things got going on. I'm over here. One thing, I'm going to reset the chairs from our uh, being a circle thing that we used the other day. We didn't actually use it. I ended up again with just eight kids on Sunday night, which is very rare for us on Sunday nights. And we were kind of already, they were kind of already sitting around the tables playing a game. And we just played a game. We played Codenames Marvel. Somebody was wanting to play that. And then we ended up playing um, Spyfall, which are two really fun YouTube games. Spyfall requires a little bit more than Codenames does, but it's fun. I don't love Spyfall myself. It's not one of my favorite games, but I have some kids who really love it. So we just did that instead. Uh, it's kind of took a break. So hopefully things are going to make a difference because I can't, every time there's eight people, I can't just stop and play games. Eventually I have to keep something. And that's my plan. This week we're going to try the songs on the tracks. So maybe that'll help. But what I'm doing right now is setting those chairs up. The main thing I'm doing right now is looking at board games. Board Game Club uh, is doing something different. He's doing open gym. The guy who's in charge of the after school thing is doing open gym on Monday afternoons now. And open gym means that nobody wants to come to Board Game Club, which is not terrible for me. It really isn't. It's just a few kids and my son and a couple other kids. It lets me have a little bit more conversation, a little bit better relationship. Also play a little bit different type of game. I'm really excited about it. Being able to play some different games. So I'm over here seeing what we got here, seeing where I can take out the box and get ready to see what I'm gonna do next. Alright, so on Wednesday night we're doing this what is love idea. And I talked about the fact that God proved his love for us in Jesus. And we talked about the idea that if you're newly in love with somebody, you keep saying all these things like, man, I would walk 500 miles just to be with you. And God says that in John 3, 16, he says, hey, I'm gonna prove my love by sending my only son. And that's what he says. And God actually backs it up, but nobody else does. But I thought it'd be fun to have the kids write down some ideas. And when I was cleaning up, I found them. Some of these are good. Uh, I would argue with your parents just to be with you, which is a little bit more deep. Uh, I would travel to Mars if that's where you were. It's kind of easy. I would throw my phone in the ocean for you. P.S with a waterproof case on so I can get it back. That's probably my favorite. Of all of them, I shouldn't have read that one second because that really is my favorite. I would throw my phone in the ocean for you. 
PS with a waterproof case on so I can get my phone back. That's how much I love it. Let's see what else we got here. I would listen to Gucci Gang for 900 hours. For that's, that's dedication right there. That's true love. Oh my goodness, this one's great. And this is the one, you gotta use this one. I would learn every language forwards and backwards so I could tell you how I feel about you. It's deep, it's good. I would jump off a bridge into a bed of nails if that's where you were. I don't think I'd do that one because you might already be dead in the bed of nails. I love you so much that I would fight a 12 foot brown bear in the Arctic in a two piece bathing suit. I gotta be in a toothpaste bathing suit to fight you, but I will. Because that's how much I love you. I love you so much, I'd run a mile barefoot across Legos while nails on chalkboard play for three hours. Barefoot on Legos? I don't know if I love anybody barefoot on Legos enough. I mean, that's pretty serious stuff. That's like, I mean, that's, that's Jesus level love right there. Alright, so I love you so much, I would walk to the moon and back. I should have ended on the Lego one. But, fun ideas. Uh, and we let everybody read these. Actually, what I did was they passed them all to me. I brought my wife up and I read these to her. Uh, this is a way of expressing my love to her. And then we talked about how Jesus is the one who actually backed up with that claim. All right, let me get my claim. <clears throat> so we had this lady join our church uh, whose first contact with our church was because she came and dropped a shoebox off at the Operation Christmas Child drop-off location that we had. So we're doing this baptism video with this, with her and I've got some people coming in talking about being a drop-off location, kind of what that's about, but I needed some B-roll of the Operation Christmas Child time. Well, the problem was I didn't really have any. I, we didn't really take any pictures. And so what I'm doing here, you see that, is I faked it, put it on the sign for six minutes. And I'm gonna come out here and shoot some B-roll. All right, let's go. <laughs> so got that done. I don't know how many people would have noticed if there had been leaves on the trees, but luckily it was still winter time, so we got it done. Now let's go finish this video. I almost forgot to come back in here and actually turn it off the sign. This big old brush of Christmas child up there for six minutes every day. What's going on? Are you sure? Oh, 